The Challenge of the Yukon. On King! On you, Husky! <laughs> the Wonder Dog King, swiftest and strongest of Eskimo lead dogs, blazes the trail through storm and snow for Sergeant Preston as he meets the Challenge of the Yukon. <laughs> Sergeant Preston was typical of the small band of Northwest Mounty Police who preserved law and order in the new Northwest country, where the greed for wealth and power led to frequent violence and bloodshed. But in spite of the odds against them, Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog King met that challenge, and justice ruled triumphant. When Butch Rand swaggered into the Gold Nugget Bar in Selkirk, a hush fell over the gathering for a moment. Butch was a tremendous man with powerful shoulders and huge fists, which he used at the slightest provocation. Two men at a table in the corner talked about him in low tones. Hey, there's Butch Rand. Is that Butch? I've heard about him, but I ain't never seen him before. Hurry up, Barney. I want a drink and be quick about it. All right. Ornery, Andy. Ornery? When he gets a couple of drinks, it means trouble. He's got a disposition like a rattlesnake. Hurry up, Barney. Ain't he the one who beat up little Jim Cody? Yeah. He always wants to fight. I wish someone could lick him. Trouble is, he's too big. He's no good and nothing but a bully. Well, let's get out of here before we get mixed up with him. Well, Bill, what's your hurry? Hello, Butch. Wouldn't be leaving you because I came in, would you? I got business to attend to. Now, just a minute. Don't get sassy with me. Here's your drink, Butch. Now, don't stop nothing in this bar. So, Barney, you think you're tough, do you? If I want to start something, I'll start it, see? And what's more, I'll start it with you. Butch, <laughs> let him go. Yeah, I'll let him go when I get him off of behind that Why, bar. Why, you big walrus, you... <laughs> you what? If you want any more, stand up and take it. You're twice as big as he is. Why don't you pick on somebody else? So, you little weasel. You have to squeak out a turn. Let me go. I'm going to drape you over a table and teach you a lesson, you... Sergeant Preston, help! All right, Butch. Let him go. Oh. (laughs) It's Preston of the Northwest Mounted. When you want to fight, find someone your own size. You're almost my size, Preston. I notice whenever you come around me, you got your dog with you and your uniform on. Bunch, I think it's time someone taught you a lesson. A hard lesson. (laughs) Yeah? Who? I'm putting my dog outside, and I'm going to take my tunic off. I'll be out of uniform then. And you're going to get a beating that you'll never forget. That suits me, Mountie. But, Sergeant, he's too big for you. Good for Preston. I hope he doesn't stop it out of him. Here, King. Outside, boy. Barney, I'm afraid this is going to be a little hard on your bar. I don't care if you break up the place. If you teach that buzzard a lesson, move the tables back, boys. Sure, darn right we will. This is going to be good. (laughs) All right, Butch. You ready? You bet I'm ready, you think. All right, Butch, get up. Boy, what a wall that was. Butch is getting up. All right, Sergeant, suck him. Lucky punch, Mountie. Oh, you crack it. You crack Whoopee! That's the last of Butch. Bet they heard that wall in the next block. <laughs> well, have you had enough, Butch? Yeah. Don't, don't hit me again. Good for you, Preston. Maybe that will teach him. He had this coming. All right, Butch. Here, let me help you up. Get away from me. Yeah, I'll pick myself up. Oh, very well. But remember this. The next time you pick a fight with anyone, this is going to be repeated. You hear? And you remember this, Preston. Someday you're going to be sorry for this. Mighty sorry. <laughs> It was two weeks later, and Sergeant Preston was in the cabin of Bill Kramer. Thought maybe you'd sell me that young Siberian sled dog of yours, Bill. I got permission from headquarters to buy one yesterday. Sure, I'll sell him to you. I got two more pups just about ready to train. I can spare Boris now. 
Well, Sonny, what you want? Sergeant Preston, him here? Yep, he's here. Preston, here's a little Indian boy wants to see you. Oh? Come in, son. Well, uh, hello. You want to see me? Man sick in cabin. Him say me come get you. Who is it? Me not no name. Him call me. Say come get you quick. Well, can you take me to the cabin? Me show you. I'll see you later, Bill. Guess I better get out there right away. Come on, King. Third cabin. Third trees. Well, King. Hi there, huskies. You can run along now, Una. Thanks for showing me the way. Me go town. I'm King. I'm Huskies. Well, here we are, fella. Guess you better stay out here. If there's a sick man in there, it's no place for a dog. Stay with the team, King. It's Sergeant Preston. Anyone here? Ah, oh, strange. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I got him. He never knew what hit him. Sacre bleu. You have almost killed him, Butch. You told me you'd like to see Preston get it for sending you up for two years. <laughs> well, you saw it. Well, that is danger. When he recovers... He's not going to recover. We're setting fire to this place and taking his dog team. When we get over the border to Alaska, we can sell it. I've got some friends in Eagle City who'll take care of us. This is big risk just for revenge. Them dogs will bring over 200 apiece. Now, come on. Help me set fire to this kindling. We'll open the door and window and get a good draft through here. <laughs> there won't be enough of Preston left to tell that he was a mountain. There. It's going fine. Now, let's get out of here before we cook with him. Maybe we should tie him. Nah, he's out. And that smoke will keep up. Now, come on, we got to hurry. Now, leave that door open. It'll burn faster. That lead dog, he will not let you touch the sled. Yeah, I forgot about him. Maybe we should shoot him. No, nah, they'd find him dead and start looking for Preston. Yeah, I got a bad idea. Hey, King, get Preston. In there, Preston. He seems to know something is wrong. Find him. He's going. He is brave dog to go in that cabin. Hey, come on. We'll fix it so he stays in there. Now, there. He's in there with him. Now, come on. Get this dog team going. The huge gray dog ran to the side of his master, who lay unconsciously on the floor of the cabin. Smoke was beginning to fill the small room and poured out of the open window. King licked his master's face and tugged at his sleeve. Preston groaned and his head moved slowly from side to side. The flames crept toward him, licking between the boards of the floor. Frantically, King pulled at the mount his coat. Then Preston's eyes opened slowly. King! King! Help me, boy! Help! Half-consciously, Preston threw his arm over King's as the great dog dragged him toward the door, Preston crawled on his knees beside him. At the door, Preston's head drooped, and his body sagged toward the floor. But the great dog barked sharply, and the Mountie raised his head groggily. The door. I'll open it. With a terrific effort, Preston raised his hand and turned the knob. Clinging to King's collar, he forced himself to crawl forward, and suddenly collapsed outside in the snow with a huge dog lying exhausted close beside him. It was hours later when Bill Kramer heard the sharp bark of a dog and then a stumbling footstep outside his door. Where? Preston! What? what happened to you? Here, let me help you in. Almost didn't make it, Bill. Let me get you over at my cot. Uh, never mind, King. He's going to be all right. 
That was Butch. He hit me over the head and stole my dog, Dean. Butch, a dirty polecat. And I better fix your head right now. I'll take your dog, Dean, and get him. Not in your condition. You're going to sleep for a while. Have to get him, Bill. Now, don't worry. I got a good, fast team. You're going to rest tonight. If you're well enough, we'll start after him tomorrow morning. But you're riding on my sled. <laughs> Bill Kramer's dog team was one of the finest in the North Country. With King riding free ahead, following the trail of his own dog team, the powerful animals raced over the snow behind him. The second day of the chase, they halted at a spot where Butch had made camp. Well, from the looks of this camp, I say they could have left it sooner than this morning. They're not making very good time. My dog team's used to King leading them. Butch is probably having plenty of trouble with them. Well, we'd better rest here a while, Preston. This has all been pretty hard on you. Oh, my head's a lot better. You're the one that should be tired, Bill. I've been riding most of the time. From now on, I'm staying on my feet. We should catch them by tomorrow. They're heading straight for the Alaskan border, all right. But they still got a long way to go. I'll catch Butch Rand if I have to follow him to Siberia. Preston, look. Over there in the trees. Big gray husky coming this way. What? That looks like Jack, my wheel dog. Jack! Here, Jack! Jack! Jack, old fellow, you got away last night. Look, Bill, he chewed himself loose. Well, that ought to slow Butch down, Sam. It certainly will. Jack's one of my strongest dogs. What? No wonder he deserted. Butch has been using a whip on my team. Look at the weld across his head. They aren't used to a whip. Dirty rat. Let's not stop, Preston. Let's keep after him. Well, hit Jack with your team. Won't take long to catch them now. The early darkness had fallen when Butch and Jean stopped to make camp the following evening. See that you tie them dogs up right tonight. Losing that husky yesterday cost us about $250. These dogs, uh, I don't like for tie them. They are fierce. Yeah, I'll help you. Beat them over the head they try to bite. All day they act funny. They seem to hear something. You think someone follow us? Huh? <laughs> yeah, sure. Maybe Preston's ghost and his dead lead dog, huh? <laughs> hey, you're crazy. How could anybody follow us? There wasn't anyone knew we did it. Uh, I don't like it. Hey, come on. Help me with these curs. Now, shut up, you flea-bitten hounds. Come here. Look out! Bite me, will you? Yeah, I'll show you. Give me that whip. Now we'll see who's master. <laughs> Get away from me! Take him off! Get away! Keep your hands clean and keep them up. All right, King. Back. Let him up. You, you. How did you My get out? My dog got me out of that cabin. All right, Bush. Get up. I should. I should let King get even for some of the things you've done to my team. You took me by surprise, or I would. Would you like to try again? I'll give you three minutes to get ready. No. no. Just keep, keep away. You always fight little people, and King's a man-sized dog. Is that it? Preston! Did, did you get him? Yes, Bill. King got Butch just in time to save one of my dogs. Get together, you two. We'll be handcuffed for the night. You're both under arrest for attempted murder. You better handcuff him to a log, Preston. He might try getting away. That won't be necessary, Bill. We'll let King watch them. They won't try anything without guns or whips. I know, King. You'd like to continue this fight with Butch. Sometimes it's too bad we have to represent the law. <laughs> These copyrighted dramas originate in the studios of WXYZ Detroit, and all characters, names, places, and incidents used are fictitious. They are sent to you each week at the same time. Hugh Holder speaking. This is the Michigan Radio Network.